but there are people god is raising to become mighty vessels i just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but i pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ welcome to christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith-based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed god bless you please be seated thank you thank you again pastor i recognize and honor everyone who has been introduced and duly celebrated the lord will do us good tonight in jesus name let me encourage you to not only be very open and active and to be part of this conference just for these sessions i want you to participate in all of the sessions right up until sunday tomorrow my dear friend and brother jerry eze will be here and blessing you by evening and then saturday morning and then reverend Izumwa is here and then we'll wrap up make sure god has prepared every one of us to to bring very unique expressions of the hand of god and it's important for your heart to be opened and receive every ministry that comes upon this altar in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now let me just do a quick recap and then we'll have a discussion for the night and we'll begin to pray somewhere along um while i teach i'm going to request that we pray a bit like we did in the morning and um if and when i make that request may i request that we all participate very maximally one thing i know for sure is that you will never be the same indeed you will encounter the god of heaven and you will receive help from above in jesus name acts chapter 26 and verse 22 acts 26 22 yesterday we began um a discussion along the line of the theme and i've been teaching on helped by god and um, we considered a few things i just want to do a very quick recap please let me have your attention the bible says having therefore obtained help of god continue on to this day we did establish the fact that men do not just make progress in life and destiny except and unless they are helped by the god of heaven hallelujah we established the fact that help means to make it easy or to make it possible for someone are we together by offering your service or offering your resources that means you have helped someone to the degree to which you use your service or your resources to make it easy or possible for that person to do or achieve something and we did agree that god helps men men can be helped by god second chronicles chapter 26 and verse 5 speaking about uzziah the last sentence said that he as soon as he sought the lord as long as he sought the lord god made him to prosper and then we jump to verse 15 and then the bible tells us that he went great he became very great his name spread abroad because he was marvelously helped of god until he became strong so our exploits in this kingdom depends on the kind and the degree of help we have obtained from god are we together then i did tell us that there are three ways essentially from scripture that god helps men when god wants to reach down to men there are three biblical pathways three expressions of the help of god number one god helps men by administering his mercy the first way we obtain help from god is by obtaining mercy are we together we took our time to teach on mercy yesterday please do get the teaching listen very carefully part one 
uh, you can find it online i did say that the mercy of god has two assignments number one to grant pardon and forgiveness and then the other to be able to provide assistance so you show mercy to the degree to which you grant pardon and then the degree to which you provide assistance to take away stress to take away limitations nobody is able to excel in life and in this kingdom outside of the help and the mercy of god and like we observed yesterday everyone who has been helped by god is also one who has been a principal recipient of his mercy we wrapped up yesterday by teaching that there is a condition that must be in place for the mercy of god to be administered as powerful as god's mercy is not everybody sadly will be a recipient of the mercy of god that there is a condition and a posture that a man must take and assume in order to be a beneficiary of god's mercy we call it brokenness please never forget that until and unless you are broken you cannot have the mercy of god work in your life brokenness is a state of admittance a state of recognition that outside of the help of god you are inadequate are we together until we understand that we are insufficient in ourselves that the best and the greatest of our efforts will still not be able to get the job done then you recognize that when god assists you he can become the completion he can become um, that leverage that you need to excel and we observed yesterday also that in the presence of the awareness of brokenness pride naturally fades that being humble is not an issue of having a a, a personality it is a revelation there is something about the mercy of god there is something about the nature of man that when you know it keeps you perpetually humble humility is not something that is mechanical it is the resultant a, a resultant effect of deep contemplation about the nature of god like we said yesterday versus the nature of man something about the nature of god is what keeps him merciful mercy is always the fruit of compassion and the bible says god is love that is the basis of his consistently administering mercy and then that there is an intrinsic nature of default in the fallen man are we together the psalmist said in psalm 51 in iniquity did my mother conceive me that means the tendency to surprise yourself and to walk in ways that are inconsistent with scripture is already enshrined in the fallen man by default so when men survive and continue and remain and thrive it is a testament that through brokenness that admittance of the limitation in our nature they have obtained help of god to continue someone say mercy this morning we discussed a few things still stretching through the topic it was a leaders meeting and we took time extensively to talk about your experience with god i did tell us that there are two pathways everybody on earth can explore the journey to life and destiny um, in any or through any of these pathways number one you can follow the path of the natural man the path that is made up of logic experimentation guesswork alongside all the errors that come with it or you can choose the path of the spiritual man and we did define let me do that definition we did define who a spiritual man is based on scripture that a spiritual man is not just one who is in church all the time a spiritual man is not just one who is in tears every time a worship song or the word is coming a spiritual man is one who number one has submitted as a covenant to the supremacy of the word of god as final authority over your life you are a spiritual man to the degree to which the word of god has gained supremacy over your heart and mind number two you are a spiritual man to the degree to which you have submitted to the influence and the leadership of the holy spirit on all and every matter not selective submission your submission must be total regardless the effect it brings to your emotions so you see that being a spiritual man is not just something you claim 
it is a journey you come to a point where you willingly you consciously submit to the governing authority of the holy spirit and then to the influence of the word of god and for you to thrive and excel you must have a deep experience with god please get the morning's teaching i did teach us that there are many levels of increases that god himself would not bring you into until you have a deep experience with god because the strength of your experience with god is what gives you the stamina to survive the challenges that come with greatness hallelujah and that there are times where your inability to rise is not demonic it is god himself that pegs your growth as an act of his mercy to help you because if he allows you to rise up without an experience with him you will be a casualty to yourself and then eventually to the body so there are many people who are not rising beyond certain levels and it is not just because the devil is attacking them it is god himself that limited their growth because they do not have that experience i told you that there are spirits that follow mantles not men if you are elijah jezebel will come after you she does not care your physical name once you are carrying certain mantles there are spirits that are assigned across territories to follow certain offices not to follow people offices so if you are going to become a deliverer make sure you know what to do with the spirit of pharaoh if god is calling you to be esther you must master how to use honor to defeat Haman. There are, there are spirits that follow graces. So we don't just say, I want to be Esther. God will have to vet if you have understood what to do with her man. You want to become Esther and you ignore the ministry of Mordecai. You may not survive. Are we together? We did say that Elisha wanted the double portion of Elijah. But there were certain things, even though he performed many miracles, there were still certain things he did not understand about Elijah's staying power to remain. And as a result, he died. He died of sickness. He did not master the law of life. And yet he carried a double portion. So there are many things we are praying for that is within the reach of God to give us. But in giving us those blessings, we are not prepared for the side effects that come in having those blessings. That is why your experience with God it's like you're signing in your signature for the next level. The deeper your experience is with God, the more you are opening yourself to rise higher. Hallelujah. We wrapped up this morning session by talking about the power, the gift of man. That everything in life happens to you because of men. All blessings come from God through men to men all troubles come from satan through men to men that in doing business you are not doing business with products and services as it were it is with men leadership is about men ministry is about men when you remove men out of the equation then there is nothing else to do and we did define what it means to be a man i told you that in order to be a man you first have to be a spirit if you are not a spirit you cannot be a man and that spirit must be hosted in a material body a physical body are we together yes that spirit must have a body and must have the mind the solical faculties that connect your spirit and your body if you don't have that you are not a man the earth the Bible says the heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but the earth has he given to the children of men. Men are God's authorized caretakers of the earth. So if you know the owner alone and you do not know the caretaker, you will be miserable on earth. It takes knowing God and understanding men, building quality relationships that provide a leverage for you. So the first way God helps us is by granting us access to his mercy. The second way God provides help is by exposing us to the ministry of men. The third way that God sends us help is by introducing us to the person 
and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. These are the three channels for obtaining help from God. So that when you say, God help me, or I receive help from you, with spiritual intelligence, you know exactly what you are saying. I obtain your mercy, I obtain the ministry of men, and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Let me talk for a few minutes about the Holy Spirit, and then we'll pray. Can we pray in the Spirit? In fact, in just one or two minutes, just to prepare our hearts, and then I would share a few things about the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and bless him in the spirit. Why do we pray? We pray to align our hearts to the speakings of the spirit. We pray so that there are no solical distractions while the word of God is coming. Go ahead and pray. Imbredike balas shada fraska di balia kata pronta zege de beledosh rakata bakato zege de veleku shiata. All the overflows. Make sure you are praying. Those who are following online and those with the main auditorium, go ahead and pray. Shada balata pas shada bakata pronta zege de beledia. Imbredike de balaku shada fraska de balato ziata. Mande bratas kadeva neko shali grete geskaria bahashana balagata bakato sada bredi gilia. In grete kete balasha las kana bahash kati bakaria da katosia. Neke te brete skate balakatosh kate brete ge balakosia te. El gata bras kate balakata shabrete skate brete ge balash. Neke brete ge balakos sada brete ge balado bakata pasa ge te melene bakata. My spirit is open. Make sure you are praying. You are opening your spirit to receive. Just for a minute or two. Metevas kalikata fras kata balada bakata frete ke belega dosh lekata fras kata balada taka dosh kalikres e bakata bakata barata bakata brata kata belega de brake de balaka dosh megratos kata fras kate balaka dosh kale brete ke parus e bakata balada balaka kata brete ke de belega ta. Men sadi balada bras ke vashe ne mas ke di balasha bakas e grata balada balada balaka kata brate ke de pesh. Mega branta kas kota bras kene baratus kafrete kach. E braka ta baranta kata frete kete bele kete braka ta balaka ta ba. Masha baraka ta barasa ta balaka ta bras kata. Laka ta frete kete bele kete frete kete kato kas shada bala. E braka ta barata skata frete kete bela. E brata baka ta bros koto koko tosh koto koko tosh kate baka ta. Brata kata frete kete bele kete tosh kale krete kete bala da ba. Bento cinema shana magata engrata kata preska de baladusiata. Are you still praying? Rata tava tava kete tava kete balakush shana magatu. Rata tava tava katush kate prete kete prete tava katush. Shana pras kete balada tava kata prete kete balak. Engrata kata prete kete kate balaga tava rus. Shame tava rus 
Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the reason. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, The helper, the paraclete. Sanama sede belekusia tafraska di balakusia. Menekusia hashabalandos kabrida kasubretiskiti. They know that he is many things, but they do not really know him. The Lord wants to open our eyes a bit tonight and then we'll pray. Please sit down. I want you to be very sensitive because we are talking about the spirit of grace. My life changed. When this helper came to my life, I know what it means to be helped by God. I have tasted a bit of his help in and through the person of the Holy Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. Zechariah 4 and verse 6. 
Then he answered and said unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Enugu state, saying, It is not by might, nor by power. Power there means human effort, but it is by my spirit. Destiny actualization, walking in signs and wonders, being a revealer of the possibilities of the kingdom he says it does not happen by might it doesn't even happen by human efforts it is by the spirit of god the ministry of the holy spirit is not left to pentecostals and charismatics unfortunately most the average believer has an idea that if you desire to press into the the things of the spirit then you have to be a man of god or someone who aspires to walk in the prophetic or the apostolic the average believer does not seem to be interested in knowing the person and even the ministry of the holy spirit in john chapter 14 we begin our reading from verse 16 john 14 jesus was speaking to the disciples they had seen the son of god live an extraordinary invincible life he was a healer he was a lifter if you encountered jesus in his earth walk, you would know that your problems had come to an end he was invincible he sustained a level of strength and power and intelligence that was unusual and they needed to know the secrets they were probing into the basis for the possibilities that his life commanded 14 16 john i will pray the father and he will give you another comforter is the greek expression alos paracletos the word alos means the one who is just like me an extension of myself are we together now i will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse even the spirit of truth he is called that means you can trust his ministry he does not lie he is not fraud the bible calls him the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not neither knoweth him he says but ye know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you the last verse it says i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you i will send you that help in and through the person and the ministry of the holy spirit in micah chapter 3 and verse 8 the bible tells us that even power in this kingdom resides within the office of this paraclet the spirit of god micah 3 and verse 8 it says but truly i am full of power by the spirit of the lord i am full of power not just by my imagination and full of power not just by some incantations the spirit of god in acts chapter 1 and verse 8 jesus himself was speaking to his disciples 120 of them and he said but ye shall receive power not before power is always after he comes you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and the holy spirit alongside that power will turn you into witnesses unto me both in jerusalem judea samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth hallelujah in isaiah chapter 48 and verse 16 i'm showing you scriptures want to talk a bit about the holy spirit because for many of you more than just receiving a miracle tonight you need to be introduced or reintroduced to the person of the holy spirit isaiah 48 16 the last sentence there it says and now the lord god and his spirit has sent me the lord never sends you with the word alone it is the word and the spirit the Lord God and his spirit has sent me to do ministry, sent me to do business, sent me to heal the sick. Hallelujah. In Revelation 22, just help those under the anointing. Let's look at verse 16 and 17. Revelation 22. Revelation 22. 
I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root of the offspring of David, the bright and the morning star. Uh huh. It says, The spirit and the bride say, Come. Anything that must come must have the participation of the spirit. It is always the spirit and the bride that says, Come. If the bride is speaking alone, there cannot be performance until the spirit speaks first. The spirit and the bride say be healed. The spirit and the bride say sore. The spirit and the bride say be lifted. Who is the Holy Spirit? In Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1 and 2, he is the first revelation, the, the first of the Godhead that has been revealed in the Bible. The Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 says, Now the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Is the Hebrew word tohuwa bohu, confusion and chaos. That was the state. And the next person we see is the Spirit of God. That means he's a master over darkness. Every time there is darkness and confusion, he's the one who is sent. And the Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. And then verse 3 says, Elohim said, God said, light be. Why? Because the Spirit of God was already there. That means any speaking is barren until the Spirit of God precedes that speaking. Listen carefully. Empty talk without his presence will only lead to disappointments. Even God ensured that the Spirit of God was hovering first. Then he spoke and it was. Are we together? Theologically speaking, the Holy Spirit is called the third person of the Trinity. Now we know based on the Bible and based on the authority of Scripture that the Trinity is a reality. The word unity, the Bible says, Hear ye, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. The word there does not mean singular. The word there is unity. Are we together? That the Godhead consists of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's a miracle service, so there's no time to begin to teach you the theological proof of the existence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But then we see in the baptism of Jesus that Jesus the Word is there on earth with John the Baptist. Then the Bible says the heavens open and the Spirit of God, a separate entity aside from Jesus, came and rested upon him. Then there was another voice that was not Jesus and was not the Holy Spirit. The Father who spoke and said, this is my son. If he called him son, then he must be Father. Are we together? So we see there the, the ministry of the word Jesus, the spirit of God, and even the father. Jesus in commissioning the disciples said, you will baptize them in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself said it. When Stephen was about to be stoned, the Bible says the heavens were opened. He was full of the Holy Ghost. And then he saw the glory of God and Jesus himself standing at the right hand of the father. So we know for a shorty that the concept of the Trinity is not a man-made phenomenon. The Holy Spirit is not an angel. The Holy Spirit is not a disciple. The Holy Spirit is not a bird. He's not fire. He's not oil. He's not a dove. The Holy Spirit is God. Listen carefully. The reason why the personality of the Holy Spirit in terms of his physical form is not revealed is because the Holy Spirit has the assignment to reveal Jesus. Are we together now? But make no mistake, the Holy Spirit is God in every sense. I know the Bible uses the word Holy Ghost. And of course we can understand because of translation. But the Holy Spirit is not a ghost. No. He's a living spirit. He is the life-giving spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that you call eternal life. Eternal life is not what he brings. Eternal life is him. He is the very life of God. It's important you know this. So the Holy Spirit is God in every way. 
the Holy Spirit, Jesus himself was speaking to us and he prayed in 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14, popular scripture, it's a scripture that is an anthem in my own life. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, he said, the love of God and the communion, that's the word koinonia, of the Holy Ghost. He says, let it be with you. He's praying that the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the communion that comes from this ministry, let it abide with you forever. The Holy Spirit has a fourfold function in the life of the believer. Let me rush because of time. Number one is the ministry of guidance. Number two is the ministry of direction. Number three is the ministry of revelation. Number four is the ministry of empowerment. Do not forget, this is the fourfold ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer. Number one, guidance. What does it mean to guide? To guide means to show you the, the steps. Direction means to show you the destination, but guidance means to show you the steps. You can have direction and yet not have guidance. Are we together now? Yes. If you tell me, if you're looking for the restroom, I can tell you turn left, go right, and you see a building, that's the restroom. I didn't guide you. I gave you direction. Direction focuses on the destination, but guidance focuses on the steps that takes you there whether it is the steps or the destination it is within the office of the Holy Spirit to both guide and direct are we together now the Bible says he will guide you into all truth so even truth without guidance will not edify you truth just like that without the guidance of the Holy Spirit will lead you into all shades of error and mistakes even though it is truth when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you so the holy spirit has the assignment of guidance do not forget the holy spirit has the assignment to the saints of direction the holy spirit has the assignment of revelation he is the one who opens you to the mysteries of the kingdom he is the one who brings to you spiritual illumination he opens your eyes that you will see. And then the Holy Spirit is the administrator of the power of God. Listen to me. The dynamics and the administration of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit. That means if you do not know the Holy Spirit, forget about working in genuine power, signs and wonders. The administration of any and all forms of spiritual power resides within the office of the Holy Spirit not even Jesus as the word could function until the Holy Spirit came the empowerment of Jesus did not just come because he was the word he needed to be empowered by the Spirit of God thank you oh my father for giving us your son and leaving your spirit till your work on earth is done. Now, theologically speaking, as far as God's creation is concerned, the Holy Spirit has a ministry to creation. I hope you know that the Holy Spirit's ministry is not just to men. The Holy Spirit is the life force behind everything you see. I know that science says we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. The reverse is the case with, you know, plants and certain kinds of microorganisms and so on and so forth. Teaching men without his presence will only become a mere lecture. They will be looking at you, nodding. You will think they are getting it, but their lives will not show. According to the principle of the kingdom, we never do anything till we verify that his presence is in it. When you want to do business, it's a risk to use common sense. You wait till he arrives. He is the spirit of truth. The moment he arrives, everything that is a lie is about to be judged. The 
spirit of God. He has a ministry to unbelievers. What is his ministry to believers? The four levels of ministry that I just listed for you is for believers. Direction, guidance, revelation, and empowerment. Bring the weak version of you and expose that person to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Watch what happens. Ah. Weak men can become strong. Timid men can become powerful. Ignorant people can become full of light. All by the ministry of this paraclet. God gave him to us and warned us. He said, I know that I want you to save the world, but tarry, tarry, tarry. Don't make the mistake of moving without him. At every point, verify if he's there. Is it not Moses that said, don't send us if your presence will not go. He was talking to God. So what is his presence? Was he not already talking to God? Which presence was he looking for again? There's something about your presence at the advantage. Man of God. I can tell you the secret out of the struggle in ministry is not just running around. You will run from pillar to post and you will not find anything. But when you find the Holy Spirit, He can grant you direction. This is the way. Thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk therein and you will find rest for your soul. The helper. The helper, the helper, ordinary man, but when he holds you, <laughs> when he holds you, you will not look like it till you become it. When he holds you, people will even laugh and say, you, you want to do business? I may not have any advantage, but my goodness, when the helper comes, listen, many of you have heard about my vision. Let me share it one time here again. I had this vision when God was revealing my call and I was somewhere in a high altitude and I saw a generation of people crying and languishing and I was talking to those in front just like an elevated position like this and they said no food and no water and I said who is the cause for this why should the whole generation be without food and no water and they pointed at me they said you are the reason I said me I can't be that wicked why would I do that to you and then I made up my mind in that vision it was like there were a few people who had chased me to that corner and I just remained there I made up my mind I said listen I'm coming to help you and if I perish I perish as soon as I opened the door there was this giant gray bearded man I know him he stretched his giant hand and he said i should bring my little hand and he held that hand and we began to walk together the spirit of the living god we began to jump one building after another and i couldn't jump so i would follow the small ladder connecting them but he would jump and sit at the other side and he's just smiling and waiting for me to arrive the spirit of the living god Believe me, I do not claim to know everything about the kingdom. But when it has to do with the ministry of the Holy Spirit, I've been given the privilege of access to know him. Are we together? Yes. Sir. The Spirit of God can reveal himself to you. He can reveal the word. He can open your eyes to see. You will see when others are looking. You can see I told you in the morning that sight is not just a product of your eyes it is your eyes plus light that is equal to sight even if your eye is walking and there is no light it's still darkness for you hallelujah pray in one minute whilst you are seated and say reveal yourself to me spirit of the living God go ahead Go ahead and pray. Reveal your
yourself bring to end confusion in my life your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise will see of the wonders of your work I will see out for joy I will see of the wonders of your work and I will forever see your praise Listen, when you ignore his ministry, your life will be miserable, miserable. When I was in Zaria in 2013, I was already considering, you know, if to just expand, to go to Abuja or go anywhere and just submitting myself in prayer. And I had this vision. I saw a plane lift from Zaria going to Abuja and the name of the ministry was written on it just when it was going to land in Abuja it crashed and I knew immediately immediately that God was not in this it was not the season yet sincere people including fathers of faith veterans of the gospel they said listen it will be a wise idea to do this I respectfully honored them but I know what he said because in his voice and his leadership is your victory your help the Holy Spirit has been sent to bring discount to the cost of living for you. That your life will be unnecessarily expensive. The price you will pay for life will be unbearable if you ignore him. By 2018, he comes again. He says, now is the season. I struggled with him for three years to say yes. To moving to Abuja he said let me at least go to my own state I'm not sure I'm ready I don't I don't want the drama of um, I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm ready it's, it's an expensive place it's an expensive life and then he began to open me up I started seeing the visions of the meetings now and the things that God is doing and he said you trust me I have walked with you all these years I remember the vision and look what God has done today now you will give the credit to ordinary men but i'm telling you that behind the extraordinary results of ordinary men is a helper the helper that guides the helper that leads is someone is, is someone you will not suffer my foot to be moved I carry your presence everywhere Who am I? Your mind is so full of me Mortal man, awesome God Mortal man I'm just a mortal, but you are the awesome God You will not suffer my foot to be good presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me in another vision I'm praying and just enjoying the presence of God and then the Lord speaks to me and says son from today I give you my presence as a gift and in that encounter I turn and I see this being standing close to me he said he will walk with you I said what is his name and he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence that he will walk with you listen when you see ordinary men look supernatural I told you there is nothing in us we don't amount to much unassisted but the glory of heaven the spirit of grace
we stand confident because of his presence every man of God is like a bride the spirit of God is the husband the wife is a reflection of her husband when the wife speaks and says I donate one million it is at the cost of the husband the wife will do the speaking on his behalf and then the husband will honor it so when we stand and begin to speak and things happen do you believe that that power is is no the power is not just generated it is outsourced from a dimension that is not earthly how do you begin to speak that someone will be healed that someone will be delivered and in a moment no human beings are not robots carry your presence everywhere who am i your mind is so full of me listen to me even if a man of god prays for you and imparts grace it is not his impartation that makes it happen it is because midwifing that man and you is that same spirit the man is only able to impart grace because he honors the custodian the holy spirit does not receive power from any other person he is the one who owns it we have to wait until he empowers us help those who begin to shout now under the anointing i just saw fire is coming on many people's altar and the Lord is saying he's opening them to new seasons of intimacy new seasons of intimacy right now I decree and declare I decree and declare my God by that grace that fire for many of you is leading you into a deep experience this is not just miracles uh -uh. This, this is an encounter he's reintroducing himself to you help those under the anointing listen 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 just be sensitive we're about to pray my goodness i went for in had bunkers crusade in 2004 very ordinary unassuming man help them please i want to show you how powerful this paraclet that was given to you as a gift from god he was not given to pentecostals he was not given to charismatics he was not given to white men or black men he was given to all men the holy spirit is a gift god's gift to you and i stood there in that crusade ground tens of thousands of people and i watched an ordinary man limited in every way but in the presence of the spirit of god after he finished preaching very simple message and when he was done it was time to pray for the sick and he was about to take a cup of water and then the lord opened my eyes and i saw that was the first vision of the person of the holy spirit i saw a giant bird just hovering around the crusade crown that's what i saw giant bird with silvery linings across the wings just moving i thought everyone was seeing it by the time that vision will be over i had even turned to back the stage and the lord took me to genesis 1 verse 2 and the spirit of god hovered around them that was where i got listen listen let me tell you this i didn't just see it as a sermon that the union of the movement of the spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous help that lady without his presence ministry will be a burden without his presence you will only be an inconvenience to people as a man of god invite him to your home invite him to your church invite him to your business invite him to your family invite him to your body hold on look up please Hear me your body
can either be his temple or a den of robbers you have to choose one of the two your body can be either of the two either his temple where he resides in light or it can be a den of robbers and we know the chief robber is satan himself john 10 10 that the thief cometh not but for to steal if you ignore his ministry in your life your body becomes a den of robbers hear me part of his ministry of empowerment is to activate the various dimensions of the treasures of God hidden within you how do you sit down and begin to prophesy and speak to someone revealing the things that would happen no immortal invisible God only one most glorious most precious Immortal, invisible God, only wise. That's the part I want you to hear. Just because he's invisible does not mean he's unreal. He's only invisible to the frame of your sight, but he's ever present, even here tonight. Even here tonight, we know that he's here. He is brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine. The Holy Ghost is brooding over every darkness. I am a student of revival. I have studied revivals across many continents by the privilege of God's grace. I have had the honor to meet a few people, some in their lifetime still alive, others before they left. Every one of those people became mighty because they honored him. A weak woman, listen, a weak woman called Maria Woodward Eater. She ran away from ministry because she was too weak. She was fra fragile. What do I teach? I don't even have the, the charisma. But well, the Holy Ghost said, come. Don't ever say you are not enough. Let him come. He becomes a completer. What do I say? Just let him come. A man like Baba Deboye will stand with thousands and hundreds of thousands of people. Millions of people. May not talk so loud may not shout and jump because of his age and personality but in honor to that spirit of god he will say in the name of jesus let this be the last time of your tears and you will hear people will shout amen and the next thing you see people return with testimonies don't downplay what he can do i have good news for you he is here he is here because the word of God declares that where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. But he is here because he says to call upon him and he will answer. He will even show great and mighty things. For in the sanctuary, God is here. There is a anointing the there is a stillness in the atmosphere. I lay down the burden to Is it true that the load I'm carrying on my head can leave? 
find out what he did to darkness do you know how difficult it is to drive darkness because you cannot hold it darkness is not like a car that you push away how do you drive darkness do you blow it to go away but when the Spirit of God arrived darkness fled so don't be surprised help them please that in one moment you will check that pain and not find it again listen listen let it not surprise you that while you are seated he leaves you see that because he is God he does not leave, need to live here to be where you want him to be he can be in both places so while he's here he can be in your office immediately correcting something that needs to be corrected listen tonight is a miracle service and I needed to tell you this the Holy Spirit can help men there are many of you who are accessing power tonight not just power to run but power to soar yesterday I told you there is a certain speed that the plane must get to lift it is a risk for the plane to lift if it has not gotten to that speed the Holy Spirit can provide that speed so that you will rise For those who are sick in their bodies, I want you to know that the helper is here. For those who have cried and say, is there a way? Ah. He'll move your mountains. He'll cause walls to fall with his power. He'll perform There are those of you what is happening is that he's coming to rest upon you like a hand upon the eggs and wisdom that he will breathe upon you you will come out and do something that will shake a nuku state there was it from whence come this wisdom what dimension of wisdom did you just come with listen there are some of you who came here like strangers but you are living as prophets you came here as just prayer warriors but you are living as, as giants Custodians of power in the spirit. Listen, the biblical proof of spiritual power is when you say it and it happens. For I am a man under authority, having men under me. I say to one, Go, and he goeth. I say to one, Come, and he cometh. And God said, And there was. And what he said that manifested he saw it and it was good he can turn the weak to become strong he can change SS to AA he can turn a woman's I'm saying this so that take your eyes away from the darkness and look at him help them please help them I'm about to pray now you see for as long as you are focused on the darkness you will not be able to see his glory i am a product of his grace i am a product of the healing power of god it's not just that he uses me to bring it i am a beneficiary i know what it means to be plagued by sicknesses and infirmities i have seen firsthand the power of god i don't just say he heals because I read it in the Bible alone. My life is a testament. I am a living epistle. I have been oppressed by demon spirits. I know what it means to minister as a man of God, not an unbeliever, and yet still be oppressed. But I also know the taste of victory. You can taste and see. Not just hear and assume. You can taste. There is an experience to his ministry. Listen, when we begin to pray, I like for your heart to be opened because there are many of you you may not be sick in your body but hear me for the sake of those who are connected to you there are graces you must receive this night
if God has called you to bring a certain kind of revival in Enugu State, don't sit down assuming it will happen. By what? The Bible says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you. It's time to speak to certain forces in Enugu to say and it happens. It's time to open certain doors, even ancient doors that close the destinies of men. The messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61, it says the spirit of the Lord Ah, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek to bind up the broken hearted to comfort those who mourn he had sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison have you ever seen a man in a spiritual prison there are people who are in the correctional centers they are limited. That is an adumbration of what happens to a man in a spiritual prison. Just because you are moving physically does not mean you are free. There are prison doors that need to be opened tonight. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broken. I will pray for you but the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white not just yellow the person i'm seeing in my vision is wearing white someone in one minute wherever you are i want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must live your life tonight insist no negotiation it must go outside inside pray the helper has come Everything that needs to leave must leave because the helper has come. Having obtained help from God, I continue. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm going to lay my hands on this gentleman. And is this the gentleman I spoke? No, I'm not sure. One that I spoke about in the morning. In the name of Jesus, where is he? Let him come and stand. I'm going to pray now. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. May your power rest upon this gentleman. Let it be a new season of grace for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the man I spoke to in the morning. What do you do? You're a businessman. I want to pray for you. That's the call of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ more than the business you are doing may the grace of god rest on you my dear look at me in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands and i speak even over your family Shani Sanakusia. i'm seeing a chain around your hand in the name that is above all names right now i decree as is happening to her i pray over someone the chain that has tied down the productivity of every family every destiny in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now be loose right now and for this gentleman i pray for you may the lord show you mercy in the name of jesus uzo chuku uzo chuku uzo chuku who is that Uzo Chuku what does that mean God's way who is Uzo Chuku huh? her brother you too where is he this person your brother he's not here he's in the overflow is that true it's country 
outside the country no i'm saying the person i'm seeing is in an overflow uzochuku there is an uzochuku outside that's i'm not saying is there someone like that i'm going to pray for you but the one i'm seeing you are in an overflow if you find him let him run his salvation has come what please verify what's your name Uzochuku, I will don't worry, don't feel embarrassed that you're not. I will pray for you. What he says to one, he says to all. My friend, look at me. I'm hearing the sound of a baby. Please listen. I'm hearing the sound like the cry of a baby. This is a family that has been trusting God. They have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed, they have prayed. I don't know where that family is but the power of god is touching someone right now i hope you believe what god is doing i'm still hearing the cry of a baby lord i don't know what family this is but in the name of jesus help has come for you help has come for you by the spirit of god huh? No, no, you don't you don't have to come out i'm going to pray for you but what mama you're standing for yourself your daughter okay where is she your daughter-in-law is here yes trusting god for the fruit of the womb yes how long for one year plus mama what of you uh, um, five years another one is four years two of my school don't worry you don't have to come out i can imagine that there are several people just wherever you are god is going to touch you we're going to pray for the sick now i'm going to pray for you in the name of jesus you are the uso chukus from overflow in the name of jesus father i am praying right now that everything that represents captivity in the name of jesus right now for the uso chukus i curse it by the power of god I release you right now go and experience the hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ they don't have to um, please accept we ask them to come if not we'll make the place rowdy but since they are there they are mothers mama I pray for you where eh? in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will wipe your tears he will give your children miracles even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ please let them go I want to pray for the sick right now but how many of you believe you actually can be free from demons put your hand down how many of you believe your family can be free i hope you know that you are not really free until that salvation gets to your family hallelujah i truly believe in the liberty of the saints that the power of god is able to set people free with proof and results Agnes 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 like A G N E S Agnes I just heard that name I'm going to pray for the sick right now but I'll minister deliverance why do I minister the power of God to set people free because in every gathering I tell you there are people who they may be laughing and singing and dancing but it's everyone that knows where the shoe is hurting. There are people as they are standing here, they are saying, Lord, I didn't come for this conference to waste my time. Visit me and give my family a testimony. There's somebody who sells cement. Cement. I just saw bags of cement. It's like a business that you do you sell cement. Why is she here? Agnes is your name. Where are you from, my dear? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare that everything that is not of God, you're Agnes too. Don't cry. Don't cry. The Lord is giving you a new song. In the name of Jesus, a new song. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. He says, many will see and fear and put their trust in him. This is what happens when the Holy Spirit is there.
Bring the mercy. Let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be a new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Please help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Why, why is he just on shorts? Is that how he came? Is that how he came? In the name of Jesus Christ, just cover the cloth somewhere. In the mighty name of Jesus, I minister deliverance right now. Now, I'm about to pray. Listen. Spirits don't just rest upon men. Spirits can rest upon conditions and situations. When a spirit is upon a situation, it will act unusually. For instance, a financial situation, a spirit can come upon it. It's not only men spirits possess. They can possess conditions, economic conditions, marital conditions, any kind of condition. So in administering the power of God in the presence of the Holy Spirit, it's not only from men we are exiting the spirits. We are also exiting them from conditions. When you are supposed to get a job and everything is there and someone promises you and you will never get the job, there is a spirit in that condition. Are we together? Can I pray for you now? As I speak, I know that here is limited. Please don't inconvenience those who are in front. But I'm going to request that you bring those under the anointing out as I minister to them. It's time for their liberty. At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. Don't get used to it. I know you've shouted it many times. We don't shout it as a ritual. But listen, let me tell you the truth. I'm seeing a sword. What looks like a knife, a sword, is piercing into people and situations and families. That sword represents the word of God. At the count of three, everything that does not name the name of Christ, as you shout the name that is above every other name, it must give way. Whether you are outside, all of the overflows or anywhere, it's time for you to be free. Those of you in front here, I declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of Jesus. Be completely healed right now. In Jesus' name, and may the Lord visit you. Everything that represents a limitation in your life, say amen, I curse it right now. It must let you go right now. In Jesus' name. Now let's pray. Father, the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down. There are destinies that will not lift up their heads. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire that proceeds from his throne, that brings deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, anybody who is under the anointing, please help to bring them out right now. At the count of three, one, my goodness, two, three, shout Jesus. I command liberty, 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 liberty. By the spirit of the living God, I decree and I prophesy, liberty, 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 shapes ketar. A great that they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that He might be glorified in the name of Jesus. We are still going to shout that name. My goodness, bring them out. I'm seeing fire falling. Lord, every family here that needs to be free from age long captivities, as you are shouting, that fire will rest upon every altar. One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Every family, every tied down by demonic orchestrations. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. We bring you liberty. this man that man wearing suit come this man yes please bring them out something is happening 
What do you do, sir? Huh? I work with EFC. You work with EFCC. I'm going to pray for you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you. Please hear me. Write this between now and November. God is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be a new season for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of delay. Ah, ah, ah. That anointing is coming right now. As I mentioned the cases, it's leaving you right now. Delay, delay, delay. I cost you. I cost you. I cost you. Delay of any kind. My goodness. I just I hope they are not injuring themselves. Hallelujah. The overflow here. What's it called? The tent? Is this the tent? The of the smaller tent. I want you to lift your hands. Those in that tent. Please lift up your hands, those in that tent. I'm seeing the power of God fall on people there. At the count of three in that tent, I want you to shout Jesus. And I want you to bring out those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them in here. Father, you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent. I decree and declare right now. The tent there. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Liberty, even by the Spirit. Liberty. Now, please hear me. The Lord is revealing to me there are people here, anything given to you, you will lose it. Whether it is relationships, when good things come into your life, they don't last. I want to pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Everything that has left you, that should not have left you, I call upon my God. Let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. Let it be restored now. 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 I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been working with God access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation i bring you I call you by prophecy into that dimension the eyes that see and the ears that hear prophetic revelation so that you will bring the precepts of God with accuracy and with precision hear me although we are here in Enugu the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially 
financially maritally receive that grace right now I relocate you to the place of destiny I relocate you to the geography of your witness The spirit of untimely death. The spirit of untimely death. The Lord is showing me patterns. Every year, someone must die. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every three, three years, someone must die. I want to judge that altar by the spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family, it is judged right now in Jesus' name. It is judged right now in Jesus' name. I'm ready to pray for the sick now. No one Jesus, there is no one, darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no about to pray for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here the absence of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. No, no, you don't have to come out since I didn't call you. Don't worry. You can stand where you are and receive. In the name of Jesus, Father, everyone who is called into the healing ministry, and I said it the last time I was in this city, God has revealed to me that before Christ returns, there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again. We have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers. So we've seen pockets of it here and there, but there will be such a move, the healing ministry, authentic, genuine healing ministry. I pray right now. I don't know that man of God. But in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Man of God there does not just mean male. Male and female all together. I hope you know that women have a major end time role to play. A major end time role. There are women who will come in the spirit and the power of Elijah. And will do mighty things across regions. It is true. They will defy the prejudices of gender and race and God will use them mightily and gloriously. I'm praying right now. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Everyone to carry this healing anointing. At the count of three, I declare, like oil may it rest upon you now. One, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three, take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, may your hands be anointed. 
you will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of Jesus Christ I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry may the Lord do mighty things mighty things mighty things now please hear me we are going to do this very fast and I want you to please participate I'm about to pray for the sick do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go mm -mm. it was Archb Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said if your faith says yes God will not say no I'm about to pray for the sick and please hear me I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle believe that you will be healed and then if you are standing in for someone whether for those following online or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones I'm going to pray and the power of God will rest upon you the moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you I'm going to give you an opportunity whether you are in the overflow at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies and then I will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity the spirit that is back of that condition in the name of Jesus you give way now shout a loud amen now I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed of blood conditions now someone is I, I don't know but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision someone will start vomiting like throwing out something and that will be the end of it I'm seeing an infirmity this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in Jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that God heals in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now there's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what I'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe I don't know what that problem is but in the name of Jesus I command that that demonic pain to leave now There was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus 
please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of jesus it will shrink back now we curse that devil in the mighty name of jesus christ you started having this problem when you wake up in the morning your neck is as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of jesus i bring you liberty now hiv be healed cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now there is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of jesus christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having it's like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of jesus christ i command healing for you now now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave Look to Jesus Christ and leave. It's recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look. Now, I want you to begin to check yourself. Look at this. The collarbone here. The power of God is touching someone right now. That collarbone. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, I don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision God is showing me. You have a child that is suffering from autism. Autism. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of God is touching that child right now. Autism. Autism. Be healed now. Your, your son, your sister's son, in the name of Jesus, wherever the boy is, we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we are doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow i'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of god is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming i want you to pray that in the name of jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny i declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they midwife rooms they midwife dimensions every gate and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life 
I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. Be open for me right now. I decree and I declare. I decree and I declare. My God, are you seeing miracles? People are coming. People are coming. Pray. God is opening doors. testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i'd like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus please be seated for a few minutes be sensitive now yes please very quickly very quickly your testimony let's do that very fast Hallelujah. I have been having this please can we have a bit of volume on this mic I've been having this waist pain no you've been having pain. waist pain yes for how long for four years four now. years four years now what happened to you now Ben, any pain, any pain, any pain. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Waste pain gone forever in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. I came here with um, difficulty in breathing and I difficulty in breathing. breathing. So I just fell under anointing and I just got up. And you I fell under the anointing and right now, fast. breathing and out, completely gone. Can you imagine? Listen. Did you know? Listen, listen, listen. Look how many people God is touching. Do you know that sometimes, look at a lady, she comes having this problem, and what happens is she falls under the anointing, and that's the end of it. This is how someone will go to bed, and these spirits will oppress them, and they never wake up. Never wake up. Place your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it remains permanent permanent in jesus name go and walk in the liberty of jesus yes Sorry, please sir, this woman happens to have had healing from two of the cases that you mentioned two of the cases yes, the one on the foot you remember talking about somebody that had um, you know a pain on the okay foot. the foot so let her talk and then the okay i woke up last month with that i can i was not unable to oh my, my right now what happened to you I, I turn it go ahead let the devil see you turn it You couldn't do this yes. for how long? For one month now. I just woke up and I could not. In the I name of pregnant. Jesus Christ, your healing remains permanent. God bless you. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise 
noticed that uh, since two years now, I've been having a serious chest pain. So immediately I was playing, I felt something, a burning sensation. Then I didn't feel the pain again. And it just left. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Two days ago, I um, woke, woke up with uh, neck pain and, you know, I just thought it was a joke. But that night when I went to bed, um, I woke up to ease myself around 12 in the night and realized that I couldn't get up. So I felt trapped. You couldn't get body. up? Wow. I couldn't get up. The, the pain um, went from my neck all the way down to yes. my back and I felt like I was trapped in my body and all that. And right and now? Right now it's gone. I couldn't Completely. 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 No pain. Well. no pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. It I, lift it now. I'm able to lift it. Lift it. Yes. Lift it again. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Um, for, for, for some months now, I've had um, problems with my knee. Your knee? Yes, my okay. foot knees. Um, I could not flex my knees. For a, sustained, for a sustained period of time. Okay. But now it's possible. And then I walked in here with the back pain. But even before we prayed, the back pain left. Completely. In Jesus' name, this knee condition, we curse it. It will never return to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I've been having pains on my shoulder for months now. And when the man of God was praying, the pains disappeared. Completely gone. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. It's gone forever. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. For some months now, I could not be able to shift my chest like this. It seems as if there is block inside my chest. But right now, I check yourself. And do like it's this. completely gone. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, so while you were praying for pastors, my dad is actually a pastor. For the past four years, my dad has been diagnosed with Parkinson and partial stroke. So while you were praying, I just called and then I put the phone on the speaker and then he was responding, Amen. All of a sudden, his voice ceased and then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. He said he started feeling vibration. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hallelujah. I didn't even hear what she said. Honestly, the Lord was showing me something else. What did you say? My, when you were praying for the pastors, my dad had been diagnosed of Parkinson's since the um, last four years. Parkinson's? Yes, sir. And then with partial stroke, he has not been able to preach all the way. And he's a pastor. And he's a pastor. Right now, what happened? <laughs> Why are you were praying? I called and I put the phone on speaker. <laughs> and all of a sudden, his voice ceased. And then I told my sister to tell me what was happening. And then she said he started shivering. And then he, he started moving his body. He started moving his body. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me tell you, listen. As soon as as soon as she started talking the lord opened my eyes and i was seeing something else that was why i was not i just saw a word congratulations listen and as soon as i saw that word congratulations i had this song hey bezina help me Chuku But blessed is she that believes. You can believe this and receive it, and you will be surprised. Some of you right here in church, even before you come out, someone will just call you and say, Congratulations. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, please. Go ahead. 
No, 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 don't hold the mic straight to the point. We may not I, be able to, okay. I had an accident. You had an accident. This is five years ago, and um, how long? I five have years. Two and pens. what happened? I have two pens and it refused to go, but as uh, you were minister, I prayed and I can't feel the pain anymore. In the name of Jesus, it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hold on. Stand up, man. Where is the child? Is she okay? How long has she been a widow? Uh, have you been a widow? My husband died last two months, July, but he was buried last month, 31st of August. So, what happened that you couldn't pay the child's school fees? I hope he died without leaving anything for us. What of you, madam? Don't be embarrassed. I didn't call you to embarrass. That last two years. Two years. And you could not afford your child's school fees? Been difficult, sir. Why? I'm not really doing anything and he did anything for us. You came from where? Here is, sir. You believe in miracles? Uh, yes, sir. I'm going to pray for you because when I saw that, the Lord asked me to give you the school fees of the child. This is not this is not some showmanship. We're not interested in all that. It's just to tell you that no matter where you are, you see, God uses people to show you what He can do. How does a woman sit down like this? A program is happening, and in the sincerity of her heart, she said, My own problem is I came. Newe is um, from an number. How many hours? That's what I'm give me an example. Uh, yes. About four hours, and she came and sat outside not knowing anybody and yet god picks her and decides to wipe her tears this is an example to tell you that you can be anywhere and god can come to you and reach you and wipe your tears are we together don't say i do not know any man remember the helper the helper so please um let me see these two people after service. Eh? May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's take one or two, one or two of the testimonies. We have to hurry up. Our time is gone. Please, let's take any two, two or three. Yes, please, go ahead. Okay, sir, I've been trusting God for healing. I've been having a severe pain since. It started last severe year. pain? Yes. For how yeah. long? For last year, as of last year. And so, right now, what happened? Immediately I was praying, this thing just stopped. Completely. Yes, In the name of Jesus, that pain leaves you never to return to you again. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate her. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I've been having this pain, my left shoulder. You notice comes... that most of the miracles have to do with pain, pain, pain. Let me tell you this. When you see the Lord doing the same thing, it is a message he's bringing remember help i taught you has to do with taking away making things easy and notice that most of the pain has to do with the shoulder the shoulder is where you carry load it's a message god is speaking that i'm taking away burdens i'm taking away loads and i prophesy to someone's life tonight in the name of jesus may the god of heaven arise in his power and take away every luggage that has been placed by the devil over your life. The pain used to be seasonal. It's been years now. For some time, I will start feeling it. And, and, and right now, it's gone. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Let that man and that woman be the last. My apologies. I will, Praise I will. the Lord. For past, like, for past three months. I'd like to hear this lady's pain. testimony. So okay. Last month, I can't even. What happened to you? My waist is paying me for past three months. And right now, what happened? Right now, I can't. Completely. Look at this. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Yes, please. I've, I had pain, excruciating pain on my neck. I came here with serious pain this evening. Even the drugs I took couldn't help me. 
but as the prayer was going on for the sick i'm free completely no in the name of jesus it never returns to you this lady seems pressed on her testimony what happened to you i came here with my lens this is my lens i don't see very well without this lens and the last time I went to Chicago, my doctor said that if I don't go for glaucoma eye surgery, I'm going to go blind. And again, I'm a widow with two sons. If I go blind without my husband, I don't even know how to take care of my children. And what now, happened to you? Now, after receiving the deliverance killing, I was at the other side. I have to walk from there without distance to hear. Look at this. Pastor, thank you for this conference. In your obedience is someone's salvation. In your obedience is someone's healing. In your obedience is someone's restoration. Look what has happened to this woman. Do you know what it means to come to church and go back? Those who saw you going to church, you return back. What happened? I went to the house of God. What happened there? I met God, the God of the Bible. In the name of Jesus, my dear, it will never return to you again. Your healing remains permanent in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Let me have one more person and then I pray. This woman is itching. Goodness. We're working with time. You have a testimony? Okay, come. Let me just, my apologies, not just creating superiority, but let me just hear what, what's the testimony? Praise God. I'm having high blood pressure since uh, 13 years I lost my husband. I'm since taking, 13 years? Yes. I'm taking drugs. On April, I just noticed that my system changed. So my sugar level, I didn't get sugar level before, but since, since April, it didn't just shoot up to 381. From uh, since that then, I'm visiting hospital of uh, uh, UNTH. Now, they now say I should do tests of uh, liver. They say the liver enlarge and it's dropping. Since then, I'm having pains here. But after that uh, prayer, the pains has gone from me. I feel what here. Yeah. And after return back to God, who will take care of my six children if I die? I say, God, thank you for what he has done. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have no business with death. This healing remains permanent. And I cause any spirit behind any pain. In Jesus' name I pray. For the sake of time, you have a testimony? Oh dear. You see, my people, you see how, why miracle services usually... Okay, let's, let's just allow... Hi, this testimony, sir. I came to see you in Abuja. My miracle service with this baby. He wasn't talking. He didn't hold his neck from bed. Baby has been walking before we came. Oh, you went to Abuja? Yes, yeah, my miracle service. And you saw us around 12, eight, mid, 12 midnight. You prayed and said there should be restoration. When we were coming back, my husband called and he said hello. Other people were receiving calls. If you hear a phone call, he will say hello, hello. The therapist that I see him said that he's now due to start a regular school and mix up with other children. Oh, dear. <laughs> That he, that, that he is improving. That he is improving. That his speech is improving. I just want to in, say in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. You see, for you to appreciate a miracle, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the people. Are we together? You do not know how inconveniencing. By the privilege of God's grace and what I do, there are people when you see their conditions, even after prayer, you feel like weeping because the Lord. The load that their family members especially maybe issues that relate to autism and all of these things may God keep anointing mighty men in Enugu state who will continue to do the work of healing of power of restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen and amen for the sake of time let me just speak oh dear look at there are so many people begging to testify would you forgive me if if we allow now here's what will happen here's what will happen it doesn't matter whether you testify in this session 
or any other session the most important thing is to know that god has done this so i may i plead with any of maybe any official so that at least we honor them for coming to stand so long to testify who is that one lifting a phone what happened oh you were healed the person on the phone from where he's in where no 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 you don't have to go with the mic huh in the village for you and everyone who has been touched by the power of god i decree in the name of jesus your miracles remain permanent you will experience the grace of god in the name of jesus christ please everybody stand everybody stand everybody stand please stand everyone there are just two things I want to do thank you for your patience number one I began to speak to you and I told you that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to non-believers a non-believer or a non-believer is one who has not had a personal encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ and there are thousands of people all across this arena and environs and many of them are saying apostle I know hearing you teach about the Holy Spirit I have not allowed him to carry out his ministry that noble ministry in my life and as it is right now I cannot really say I am saved or you are saying apostle i remember giving my life to jesus christ but as it is right now i cannot sincerely say my relationship is fine with him you may be in the main auditorium here up the balcony or any of the tents or you may be falling online by way of television by way of the internet or even by way of rebroadcast it does not matter we cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to make jesus lord of your life listen it pays to serve jesus and it pays to love jesus and to give surrender your entire life to him you've tried other options lesser and by far more inferior options give him a chance to fix your life and indeed to help you the bible says when we are saved we are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son i'm going to make an altar call and we just have two minutes for you before I speak over your life and we're done. You are in this auditorium. You're outside. I'm going to count one to five. And as I begin to count, I want you to run and come and stand here. The moment this place is filled, then you will make use of your LED screens wherever you are. You need to make it right with Jesus. I don't expect you to be thinking about it by now. You should know. Run like there's fire on the mountain. I begin my counting now. Please, when you come, don't kneel. Stand for the sake of space. One, are we celebrating salvation? Two. Three. Make sure you are coming to Jesus genuinely he can give you a new beginning for someone is still running to Jesus for those of you who are making this decision from across the world or from a location that is outside this place there's a whatsapp number that is projected if you follow your screen you are to send new life to that number on whatsapp let us know you can send your name and probably your number and your address so that they get to know and then there are a few counselors who can reach you please make sure you are receiving the card there's a salvation card that the counselors are giving wave your hands if you don't have one so that they pass it to you very quickly Please, counselors, let's get it across to them very quickly because I want to lead them to pray. This is the greatest miracle here, literally. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to lead you to pray this prayer. If, if the front is, is filled, just, just stand 
across the aisles don't worry the most important thing is your decision may i request that you lift your right hand this card you would be requested to feel it please do so very legibly you may not have the opportunity to feel it right now i'm not sure um do well to just feel it make sure that you hand it over with all the details required before you leave you can hand it to the officials but for now please stop any feeling just lift your hands and whether you are outside or inside lift your hand and say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart say lord jesus tonight i need you i have heard your word that you are able to help me i ask you to help me right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grief is broken over my life from tonight and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted father we thank you because the bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come declaring their faith in you i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and in the name of jesus i call you bona fide recipients of eternal life in the name of jesus i commend you to the ministry of the word and the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of jesus you go forward ever and backward never for in jesus name we pray just a moment praise the lord now please because it's late we can't have a meeting together but please take this number send your name and then new life to that number now come for the meeting tomorrow come for the meeting on saturday on sunday after the service i'll be having lunch with every one of you immediately after the service we have one service combined service on sunday and after then i'll personally meet with every one of you we'll have lunch together and then we're going to share a lot of things with you but the only way you can sustain what you have done now please be here tomorrow be here on saturday and if you can make it on sunday and then we'll talk after then but please do make sure you send your whatsapp number or send your details to this whatsapp number and just new life xyz and so on with your name god bless you Please rise. God bless you. Return back to your seat rejoicing. Everyone stand as we wrap up. Please, can you sing that song for me? Anansi, hallelujah. Anansi, hallelujah. Oh, Mary, to speak over your life prophetic speakings are very powerful in the name of Jesus I pray for you everything that has kept you on the ground in life and destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead I release help for you to begin to soar in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who are in need of the mercy of God to speak in any area of your life silencing the legal accusations of darkness and keeping you in a position where you are a victim may the blood speak over you now may the blood speak for you now may the blood speak concerning you now number two i pray for you every destiny helper and every prophetic relationship that must be introduced in your life in this season for the sake of your rising and your excelling i expose you to such persons in the name of jesus finally i pray for you your relationship with the holy spirit that includes your prayer life that includes your word study life that includes your life of fasting and consecration in the name of jesus christ life to your prayer altar life to your word study altar in the name of jesus christ may the ministry of the holy spirit be real to you 
and in Jesus name I stand here under the combined grace of myself Jerry Aze Reverend Uzimwa and your pastor and the father the shepherd over this house Reverend Edwin and we speak to you as a united force rise to a new dimension rise to a new season in the name of Jesus Christ that by this time next year everyone will see that the Lord has shown you mercy for in Jesus name we pray may the Lord bless you and may the Lord increase you in Jesus name Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.